just got my trick-or-treat basket together um, to for when the kids come for trick-or-treat. Um, it's in a couple days, but I wanted to prepare. Um, so I got the Yummy Earth or Yum Earth gummy bears. They're not like crazy clean, but they don't have any of the dyes in them, which is what matters to me. And then Reese's pumpkins are my favorite of all time. One thing about me is I'm a very clean eater, but you won't catch me trying to like give out only clean treats for kids. It's Halloween, so you wanna give them fun treats. And these are the best. I couldn't get my hands on any monster pumpkin candy bars. They were literally like sold out everywhere. Next year, I am I set a reminder so that I hop on Halloween candy a month early. So I make sure that I get them. But I'm just gonna give each kid two of these. These are two packs of the pumpkins and I may or may not have had one today because they are my thing. Doing a little sourdough prep post dinner. I feel like over the years I've developed things that I really love in sourdough and one thing is these containers. As you can see, I have a bunch of them in my baking cupboard, but like I like this one for all purpose, this one for bread, and I just labeled them at the top because I one time actually didn't label them and then I didn't know which was which. I love this bowl. It's from The Bloomist. Um, and then I also love this. I got this at a kitchen store in Iowa City, but it's by Early Wood. It's really awesome. You guys, wreaths are back. Oh my gosh, Smith's was not gonna do them this year, but I was talking to them on Saturday and they ended up doing them. I just met Hannah for an early morning. Well, not early morning, it's almost 10 a.m. For a farmer's market run before I work out. Uh, and I was so ecstatic to see that wreaths are back. I'm not kidding you. Literally, I talked to the girls that I know at Smith's on Saturday and I was like, when are wreaths coming back? And one of them, Rachel, was like, Mary, they're not coming back this year. Like, we just don't have the staffing to do them. And I was like, I literally am so sad right now. I'm sorry, I know this lighting is shit, but I'm making um, a loaf of sourdough and I wanna talk to you guys while I do it because I wanna show you too what I'm doing. I'm gonna do, I'm trying something. So we don't know if it's gonna work. But I'm gonna try an almond, but now that I'm thinking about this, I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna work. I was gonna do an almond add-in, but I'm like, I don't know if that's, if that's gonna work. But I still kind of wanna try it because I have this almond taste and I'm like, I might as well just do it and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work and we tried that's the thing sometimes my need for things being perfect will get in the way of me trying new things with baking um but we're not gonna do that today no no and this isn't like a ton to add in like i don't have a ton of almond paste so i think it's just gonna be a really nice like light almondy flavor so similar to like if you would do like a cinnamon sugar loaf that's the vibe of this is like just like you can like i'm gonna serve it to myself <laughs> today i'm gonna have it as a snack just lightly toasted with butter like that's that's the vibe of it so we'll see but anyways i was just so ecstatic to see that they had show you how I do my add-ins. So with this one, I kind of want it to be um, rolled because I want it to really have nice layers. So I'm actually gonna roll this add-in. Typically I would fold, but I'm gonna roll. So I guess I'm not showing you how I do my add-ins because I don't usually do them like this. But then I'm gonna also roll it this way. You see, so we have like basically like a massive cinnamon roll. You see that? And then we're gonna press it down a little bit and just kind of fold it into each other. This might not have been the best way to do this add-in. Yeah, this was kind of stupid. So never mind. not a good idea, you guys. Again, we tried something. You know what, maybe it'll look good like this. We'll find out. But then I'm gonna use this. But anyways, the farmers look great. It's just like enlivened my spirit. I'm feeling so grateful. It's such a beautiful day too in Chicago. Okay, so now I'm really worried this is gonna be 
a failed loaf. Um, but I just need to drop my ego and keep going. So, okay. I'm just gonna flower my Vanatin. I love these Vanatins. They're from Bed Breadtopia. I just get them at the kitchen store in Iowa City. Um, and I have struggled to find them online. So I don't know if you can find them online, but I like these ones because they don't mold. The other ones actually like, if you didn't know, now you do. The other ones actually mold, which I think is disgusting. Um, so yeah, okay. So that's in there. And I'm just gonna let it bulk ferment for a couple hours. I have a feeling this will still bake out really nicely. It's just kind of looking like a shit show right now. Um, but I still fermented it the same way that I always do. So I have to you know, smell it good. If you're wondering what my bread recipe is, it's 500 grams of bread flour, 50 to 100 grams of starter, 12 grams of salt, and um, 350 grams of water and that's it and it's really really good um but I follow Alexandra Bakes like anything she does for sourdough I really love in terms of like sourdough sweet treats I really like well made by Kylie and Turner Farms those are my faves also, I don't know if I've talked to you guys about my love for Branch Basics, but their stuff is so good. It's literally like the only stuff I use. We got into it probably a year and a half or two years ago now. And I don't know that I'll ever use anything different. It's just so good. Look how adorable this packaging is from the Tattered Magnolia. Oh, so sweet. This is the almond loaf that I made. And I'm actually looking forward to trying it because the middle is like soft and it's actually gonna be really yummy. Good morning, you guys. I am just finalizing some packing because we leave for Napa tomorrow. Um, and I'm doing just a little mini apartment refresh. I just like wiped down the counters and stuff like that. I decided to just do it this morning. It's about 9 a.m. but I woke up at like 7.30, read in bed for a few for probably like 30, 35 minutes. And then I was like, you know what? I might as well just do a little bit of cleaning. And so I'm really glad I did that actually, but I'm just packing all of my skincare. Um, if you use Mint or Starter, get your hands on one of the minis to travel with. It just makes travel so much swifter and easier. And then I'm just going to pack, I put like my brushes and I'll just show you actually. Um, so I, it depends on where we, like what property we're staying at. Um, if I bring shampoo and stuff, if I don't trust it fully, then I won't bring it or then I will bring some. And I like this Dick Teak stuff um, in the Boulevard St. Germain, but I do trust this place, so I'm not gonna bring that, but I am gonna bring this Boulevard St. Germain body butter toothbrush. I always bring just a travel toothbrush. And then I'm gonna bring the second body butter, which is that almond one that I love from Iowa City. It's just a lot thicker, so it's really good. Um, I'm gonna bring my toothpaste, deodorant. I don't always wear deodorant, but I wear it when I need it. And Usually that, honestly, I need it when I eat onions. So, I'm bringing an extra flosser just in case I need one. Um, what else am I bringing? My dry brush, which goes everywhere with me. My regular hair brush. And then, in here, a mini one. I am going to put some makeup. I'm not going to bring a ton of makeup on this trip. I keep my makeup in this like very floral saison big makeup bag. I keep like all of my products that I've been using lately in it. And then I have backup in there. But 
I'm gonna bring for this trip, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna bring this Love de Rouge eyebrow gel, which breaks me out every time, but I still like to use it. Um, this Victoria Beckham contour stick. Um, what else am I gonna bring? Westman, what's it called? This, the Skin Complexion Drops. Say, um, concealer. What else? I wanna wear a dark lip one night, so I'm gonna bring Merit in fashion. I love this lip. And then for the other night, I'm gonna bring my tried and true Marc Jacobs that they don't sell anymore. It is the best. I'm going to bring um, You Beauty for during the day. While we're at like tastings and stuff, I'm gonna bring this big junk road brush so that I can blend everything. Mm, I'm going to bring my road pocket blushes in Freckle and Toasted Teddy. And then I just need my Westman bronzer. Actually, I'm not going to bring Mary bronzer. I'm going to bring Westman bronzer in Biscuit. That's so annoying. I literally hate when that happens. When it like hits the top. That is the most literally annoying thing ever. It like pisses me off because I'm just like. I feel like there are two types of people. There are people that don't even notice when that happens. And then there are people who like that really, really triggers. Like I even think about. I'm going to call out my sisters who are kind of crossed. And how their toothbrush will like hit the top of their toothbrush thing and like like it all gross you won't even notice and i'm like you guys are gross um and then i'm gonna also bring how did this get part of me wants wonders if maybe it melted somewhere because it's just like on the top but it's fine this is the westman what is it lit up um highlight stick and it's also a really great product um and so i think that's all i'm gonna bring i have like one of everything besides i have two lips and two blushes which i think is good okay that's it that was easy i'm so glad i got that done and all i have to do now in my deep oh I'm also going to bring my eyelash curler, which key to your eyelash curler, get a big pack of these on Amazon and then change them like literally weekly. It will change your curling game. Um, so there's that. We might as well just give them a fresh curl while we're at it. But I love the shoe Umera. Wait, I think I have that one. Yeah. Eyelash curler. It's really, really good. But I love Shoe Mara in general. I think it's a really underrated line. And then I'm also going to bring a little elf brow thing. Also, I meant to loop with you guys because I, in classic me fashion, um, decided after using that eye mask for one night that it sucked. And I'm back to slick. So slip just makes sense, you guys. When you just get hooked on something, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's all I'll say. Okay. I love having a clean space, and I feel like since we moved, our place has just been extra clean, you know? Um, like, it's just felt, it's felt good. Alrighty. Tortilla Española, you guys. Oh, <gasps> Wow, those onions are very caramelized. Wow. I feel like you did a pretty good job, Blake. It's not that bad. You guys, hi from Napa. We are going to dinner. It has been a long day. It's been a great day, but it's been a long day. And honestly, it wasn't even a long travel day. I just had a situation with work that was really stressing me out. Which, like, now looking back on it, Blake, doesn't it? Like, it's actually so stupid. 
the fact that I was stressed about that. Oh, I know. Uh, Blake's like, I know, you do it to me all the time. But anyways, so we're going to dinner, we're going to Bouchon. Um, we spent some time with my mom um, when we got in and just walked around and then literally just like relaxed. I just took a bath and we just like chilled. It was so nice. And yeah, we're so excited to go eat some French food. Um, I am ravenous. I feel like I haven't eaten in seven hours. I ate probably like four hours ago, but um, let's go this way. I love walking through this thing. If you've been to Yonville, like where Finesse is, right behind Bouchon, I love this little area. I think it's so cute. Um, it's crazy that we were already here over a year and a half ago when we came to Napa the last time. Oh, this woman's dressed up. I wonder if people will be dressed up in there. He's looking at the wine lab. Like dreams about this escargot. No, I said it was sad. Good morning, you guys. I just left Model Bakery. Blake and I woke up early, like 5 a.m. early. Um, but it's probably around like 7.15, 7.30 now. And I just picked up, one thing about me is I will be like getting everything from a bakery. And I love baked goods. I definitely like don't go overboard in terms of eating them, but I am a try, I will try everything. Um, but, I will be trying everything. Like I just, I can't resist. Like I was like, okay, what's good here? She like told me like 10 things and I was like, um, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll get them. <laughs> so anyways, I didn't get too much. I got a chocolate chip cookie for tonight. I got a blueberry scone for me because I really like blueberry scones. And then I got, and she said they're like a top seller. And then I got a coffee for me. And then I got like a breakfast sandwich on an English muffin. I kind of wish instead of getting the blueberry scone, I would have gotten an English muffin with butter and jam, but I'll do that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the ticket and I'm getting back to our hotel right now. So I will catch you in a sec. I sat up by the fire. How special is that? Okay, we just got to the hotel where we're going to be at for the next couple of nights. And I actually love this room so much, so I figured I would show you. Um, so we have our bed, a little loungy area, my husband, um, coffee, closet area situation. And then there's a bath, sinks, and then there's an outdoor shower and then steam room and sauna back there. I'm like loving it. Um, so yeah, that's it. I am going to get unpacked a little bit and then go to the spa. We are heading to dinner with everyone. Um, Blake and I are gonna go just grab a drink before um, dinner's at 7.30, so it's probably like, I think I need to blow my blush a touch. It's probably around seven, um, but we're going to dinner just on property tonight, which will actually be really nice because it's actually raining, which it never rains here, so it's crazy, but um, at least that's what the guy told us today. Um, but anyways, so we're just gonna do that. Um, but yeah, it's 9.30 at home, so I'm like tired, but I'm good. Um, I'm wearing this Lisa Yang sweater, this vintage belt that I got at Revival in Iowa City. It's just like a really simple um, chocolate brown with um, silver hardware. But a good belt is hard to come by, I've realized. So Kate Vivian's the row bag, and then these shoes that I got in Paris at Le Bon Marche. Good morning. We're walking to a bit of coffee. 
and it's about 7.30. I took a nice outdoor shower this morning and just relaxed. It's like so cozy autumn here. Blake said, he was like, I like being here around this time. Like it's definitely slower, um, but I actually really like it. And I feel like my mom was more strategic than we thought with this time though. Like I think she did it on purpose. Um, cause it was just, it's just been really like nice in general. Um, and then what else was I going to say? We, yeah, we went to Lucy last night, the restaurant on property and it was, the food was great. The service was really slow, but there was, the manager was like phenomenal. I really I liked the him. Goatee, yeah, yeah, he was great. He was awesome. Yeah, he was great. I just feel like they like. It's a finesse, I feel like, in the restaurant business to like pace okay. people along without rushing them. Yeah, I just feel like our waiter was... He was like, my mom was like, he's acting like he's on shrooms. And he like actually was like, he would come and like walk a lap around our table and then just like stare. But anyways, okay, let's go get some model bakery coffee. You guys, I will be stealing this around the holidays. Mark my word, I'm trying to zoom with one hand. You see those? Thomas Hiller calls them TKOs? No, these are MGOs and I will be making them. See you soon. I did not vlog all day. We actually had an amazing day. Um, we had a nice morning and then we went to lunch at Davis and did like a whole pairing. It was delicious and then we did, uh, what else did we do? Um, went to this insane property that I can't remember the name of and did this like crazy experience. It was so fun. Now we're going to press for dinner and we're all exhausted, but that's okay. Um, and there's our team. Hello there, girls. I'm home and settled and blurry. There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so wiped out. Oh, we had such like an easeful travel day. We are so lucky. Also, I'm having a moment with Fortuna Skin. I love their products. And I just did their exfoliant and now I put on Vintners and then I'm doing the deep, or the nightly renewal cream, which is just divine. But anyways, we had a very smooth travel day, which I am uber grateful for. And got home at around Mm, like 5.15 and then showered, went off for a walk, unpacked, ate dinner. And then I just saunaed and took a quick shower and I was about to get in bed, but it was such a lovely trip. I'm feeling so grateful and yeah, family is everything. And I'm so grateful for my, my family and I are really, really close and I'm really grateful for that. Um, so, yeah, that's really it. Tell your family you love them. Um, because we don't say it enough. And I'm going to go to bed. I am going to put on a fresh face mask. Not that you guys care, but my slip eye mask finally came. Um, so I'm going to put on a fresh one. Not that you care also, but I got the color caramel. I honestly should have done a little haul, but I didn't. I had some goodies coming in while I was away, so. But anyways, okay, I love you guys. And I will see you in my next vlog, which I plan to start tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for being here, bye.